I really appreciate you taking us on this trip, Chuck. This is awesome. Um, am I going to get to fly the blimp anytime, though? You'll get to fly it real soon. Now, you promise not to uh, go underneath the arch, right? If he does, I'll pop him on the head for you. <laughs> that won't be necessary, Allie. Yes, I've learned my lesson. We're not going underneath the arch. That's uh, good to hear. I have to admit, you've got a very beautiful city here. Yeah, it's a very old city, actually. It was founded in 1764, and it was named after Louis IX of France. Now, here's what I don't get. It was named after a French king, so they pronounce it Louis. Why is the city pronounced St. Louis? Because we're American, and that's how we pronounce it? Hmm, seems legit. Okay. Now, my family is from Illinois, actually, but uh, we've settled in the St. Louis area for many, many years now. I would say uh, probably since the 80s. Oh, that's nice. So you all have actually been here quite a while. Now, fun. back then, we could get a lot of good bands coming through here, so there was always, like, a supply and demand, and, well, let's just say we used to get some really good stuff to sell down there. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Stuff? Oh, you don't partake? Whew, well, nobody's perfect. <laughs> so yeah, I remember there was this one time I was dating this black chick, which actually you kind of look like a white version of her. Say what? Except she was a little bit leaner than you. I mean, I'm not trying to say that you're, you know, fat or anything, but yeah, she, she had a little bit of a, a thinner build to her, shall we say. Did just call but me yeah, fat? we used to you're be not up fat, over by that lake. You're not fat. You looked directly to the left side of the arch there. And we used to basically just, uh, have parties in the park. It was us and, uh, you know, a few other friends. And, you know, we would just bring our drinks and, you know, anything else that we wanted to partake of. And we would have a really good old time. And I remember this one time that we were making out by the park and all of a sudden... Um, I'm sorry, Chuck, what, what does any of this have to do with our tour of St. Oh, Village? I was getting to that part. So, yeah, we were making out over by that lake there, and all of a sudden we hear, work, work, you know, the little sirens on the, uh, police cars. And, of course, we're thinking, oh, God, we're all in trouble now. And come to find out, the officer, he also partook, so, uh, you know, we ended up sharing some of our stuff with him that night, which is just to say just how open-minded St. Louis has been, contrary to what you may have seen on the television. Well, please tell late. me he's not going to do this for an entire hour. Now, back then, my dad had one of those old big block Chevy trucks, and I remember him sitting me down one time and saying, Son, don't you ever buy a Ford. You know what they say about Fords. Found on roadside, dead. <laughs> oh my god, Bill, does he ever shut up? My brain is about to explode. Hang in there, Allie. We're almost down. Uh, Chuck, could you drop us off over at the northern side of the airport? You now should the see our aircraft parked big there on the Chevy, tarmac. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can, I can drop you off on the far side. Actually, what is that that you've got over there? Is that, is that your aircraft? What kind of aircraft is that? That would be an F-14D Tomcat. One of the last of the Tomcats. We just managed to acquire it, and we're taking it out west. You know, that reminds me, when my dad was in the Air Force back in Vietnam, he flew one of those F-4 Phantoms. Now, that was a real jet fighter, let me tell you right there. Now, I've heard things about this F-14 Tomcat. I hear, uh, what was it they were saying? Oh, yes, it has some kind of, uh, compressor stall. Now, you haven't had any compressor stalls on that thing, have you? Uh, no. No, we haven't had any compressor stalls on the Tomcat. Well, you might want to make sure you keep getting that thing tuned up properly, because otherwise, if you have a compressor stall, I hear you can literally fall out of the sky, and that won't be good. Uh, Chuck, we're starting to drift here. You might want to address that. Oh, no, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to add a little bit of throttle here, and we should be fine. I guess I can pull off on this grass over here. I don't think they'll mind, necessarily. They'll open the door now. I swear to God, I'm going to jump. Allie, calm down. Uh, is your, uh, wife 
feeling okay there? She's looking a little bit pale. Oh, Allie's not my wife. Um, we're, oh, we're so I guess she's what really you would close. call a significant um, other. That's interesting. That's really good. You know, it kind of reminds me of the woman I'm dating right now, my girlfriend. Uh, even though I don't really get much of a chance to see her between bailing hay and flying this blimp ball. Allie, are you okay? Bellinus Shield, you get me out of this blimp this instant, or I swear to God, I will kill him. Uh, Chuck, this is our stop right here. You can just let us so off yeah, right here. Yeah, that is a really nice looking jet plane that you've got there. Uh, do you mind if I come over and uh, check it out for a few? No! no! I am so sorry, Allie. I had no idea he was going to talk our ears off for an hour and a half. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I do. I don't know where you keep finding these people, Belle. But I swear to God, if you ever put me through such harrowing torture again, I will kill you in your sleep. Good evening, this is Bell Geode, and we are back with some Microsoft Flight Simulator X Steam Edition. This is our third leg of Allie and my journey from Pittsburgh all the way out west in the F-14D Tomcat, brought to us by Dino Catenio. Now we're a little behind schedule thanks to our blimp ride lasting a bit longer than I would have liked. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get us fired up here. Uh, flight plan should be already programmed in. Allie's got control of that. I'm going to go ahead and click on our battery, otherwise nothing else is going to come on. And we'll set some of these lights on as well, too. I want everything on except our landing lights and our navigation lights. We'll flip those on just before we take off here. All right, and let's start the engine. How are you doing back there, Allie? Well, my eardrums are not bleeding, so I think I'll live. And I'm very appreciative of that. I don't know what I would do without my reel. As long as you can guarantee me that we won't run into any more characters like that, um, we should be fine. You'll have no problems with me. I said I was sorry, Allie. All right, let me go ahead and finish getting these MFDs up. All right, engine one is on. Engine two is spooling up now. Let's take a closer look at that. Oh, and by the way, I installed Easy Dock, so you'll see some different views. My uh, track IR still is not working, but we'll have to deal with that. All right, engine 2 should be coming up any second here. There we go. Look at that. All right. Okay, I would say we're about ready to go. Don't get me wrong, Bill. I enjoyed the town, and I enjoyed spending time with your cousin and his family, but, uh, yeah, the sooner we can get out of here, the better. Not that I'm really looking forward to Kansas, there's not much there, but I do have us planned for two airports where we'll be stopping. Um, we have just enough gas, I think, to make it to the first one, and then uh, we can fill up a little bit and go to the second one. Alright, well I trust you to do an excellent job on our flight planning, so what are our two stops anyway? Our first stop is going to be Topeka, Kansas, and then we're supposed to land for the evening in Renner Goodland. Ah, so we're going to have a good night and good land. I like it. Uh, yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call the tower now. We're taking off to the west, right? That would be affirmative, ma'am. Okay, well, let me go ahead and give them a call now, then. St. Louis Ground, Valkyrie 109er with Echo. Request taxi for takeoff. West departure. Valkyrie 109er. Okay, 12 left it is. Taxi 2 and hold short, runway 1, 2 left, using taxiway Foxtrot 4, Foxtrot Sierra, Valkyrie 109er. Okay, Bill, I'm ready when you are. Alright, I'm getting ready to initiate the pushback. Hmm, probably help if I button everything up first, huh? Let's go ahead and get the stairs up. And we'll close the canopy. There we go. Now we're looking good. How's your oxygen flowing? Everything all right? Because we're going up to Angels 32 today. I've got a steady flow, so we're good. Delta 1417 with Echo. Ready to taxi to IFR. 
Well, it sounds like this airport's going to get real busy in a second, so let's go ahead and push back now. If we're lucky, we might be able to make it to our runway before all that commercial traffic decides they want to take off on a parallel runway since the terminal's on the south side of the airport. So it sounds to me like it's going to take them longer to clear out than it will us. Since we're on this side and we're going to 12 left, we should be the only aircraft going on to 12 left. It sounds good in theory, but I mean, especially with some of the busier airports around the U.S., uh, you could pretty much be assigned any runway on takeoff. So if they've got like a whole bunch of commercial traffic that needs to leave, like now, don't be too surprised if they start muscling in on 12 left as well. So it sounds like you better put the pedal to the metal and taxi faster there, hon. Wait, I thought you hated it when I speed taxi. I'll give you a pass this time. The sooner we can get away from this place and their crazy stoner blimp pilots, the better. <laughs> point taken, Allie. Point taken. All right. Let's go ahead and hustle then. We'll see if we can get to the runway in quick quarter. Okay, there we go. Brakes are good. Uh, looks like the wind is blowing from the south almost, so this might be a crosswind takeoff here, so just be prepared for that. Okay, now would be a great time to put on the navigation lights and the landing lights. So we'll go ahead and hit the nav lights, you'll see it on the right there. And landing lights I've got direct control over, so those are on now. We should be set to go. Alright, we are pushing off. Not a moment too soon. It sounds like there's about to be a conga line starting at the end of the runway. Just another day in air traffic paradise, my dear. And you know, I've been looking over our flight plan for these legs to get out west. We have some really long legs in here. Is it possible we could add some more stops along the way? I don't see why not. As a matter of fact, that would be a great chance for some audience participation. If there's any particular uh, airports that you would like to see us stop at, on our journey out west, feel free to chime in the comments. Uh, keep in mind, we want to keep our flights between a half an hour and an hour long, depending on whether or not we're going to use a lot of afterburners. So there you go. Now's your chance to contribute to our series. Tell us which airports you would like us to travel to between Kansas and California. Matter of fact, I'll even sweeten the deal for you. Anybody who suggests an airport that we end up flying to, you'll get your name in lights. You'll be in the credits as well as you'll get a shout-out. What a great way to get a shout-out, especially if you've got your own YouTube channel as well. That's uh, my way of paying it forward. All right, but that having been said, let's get back to our story, and we are taxiing to one, two, left. It's a shame we didn't get to stop off at that Boeing hangar on the end of the runway. I would have loved to have seen the inside of it. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Next time we'll stop by there. But I felt it was more important for us to spend Christmas with my family, so, um, yeah, that had to be the thing to do. And I figured you might enjoy the blimp ride, too. I just didn't know it was going to turn out that way. Well, I sincerely hope lessons were learned. And remind me to send a thank you card to your cousin and his wife for having us there. Yeah, that's an excellent idea, actually. I'm pretty sure Matthew and Samara would appreciate it. After all, we did spend a couple of weeks at their house. And there's your Boeing building. Looks like we've got incoming on our runway. Yeah, I see it. Looks like a McDonnell Douglas. Probably, uh, American Airlines. Alright, well, that'll give us enough chance to, uh, just kind of chill at the button here. You want to call a tower? I'm already on it, Bill. St. Louis Tower, Valkyrie 109 are ready at runway 12 left for west departure. Valkyrie 109 are pulled short, runway 12 left, traffic is with Donald Douglas MD-8 on the runway. Yeah, like we didn't know that was coming. Hold short, runway 12 left, Valkyrie 109 er Okay, well I'm going to take a brief nap then. Don't you even think about it. I'm kidding, Bill, relax. I'm just saying, I need you awake for all of this here, because I've never been to Kansas, so I have no clue where in the hell we're going. I know what it looks like on a map, but I couldn't tell you from visual sighting. Alright, flaps are down, we're good to go. Where the hell is that aircraft? Ah, there he is. Looks like he's getting off the runway now. Perfect timing, buddy. Perfect timing. American 
And there we go. Cleared for takeoff, runway 12 left, Valkyrie 109er. Okay, if we play our cards right, we should be able to get to uh, Goodland by sunset. I don't know how long we're going to stop until Pika. And yeah, I'm kind of curious as to what's in that Boeing building now that I'm thinking about it here. Mm. Alright, well, if you're ready, I'm ready, so no time like the present. Let's go ahead and push off here. From the looks of it, that other runway is going to get pretty busy, so don't be too surprised if we have like a parallel takeoff here. As long as they stick to their side and we stick to ours, I don't have to get rowdy in here. Yeah, right, as if you would ever get rowdy in the first place. Piss me off enough and you'll find out. Hmm, you make a convincing argument, Allie. Okay. Alright, almost lined up here, just a little bit more. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a crosswind takeoff. I can tell by that wind sock there. Boy, I hate these. All right. Well, are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready back here. I'm thinking we might want to give this airliner a few seconds leeway, however, because it looks like they're getting ready to roll right now. Yeah, I'll give them a few seconds. That's about all they're getting from me is a few seconds, because it's about time to brakes down and throttles up. And we're up. Gears coming up and flaps coming up. And ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. There's a plane to our right that wants a foot race. It's on, sucker. It's on. Are you quite finished, Bill? Can I use the radio and get in contact with St. Louis departure? Oh, yeah, sure. Knock yourself out, babe. Thank you. Okay, we want St. Louis departure. And that plane is still to our right, so I hope we're turning left soon. Oh, come on. Ah, let me talk, please. Welcome to my world. Now you know what frustrates the absolute hell out of me. Yes, well, I do recall you saying how much you hated having to talk to the ATC because they always seem to cut you off and or don't pay attention to you. St. Louis departure, Valkyrie 109, or it's type Roman F-14, 5 miles southeast of St. Louis, request flight following. Ah, let me squawk at least. Squawk 7344, Valkyrie 109er. Valkyrie 109er, radar contact 8 miles west of 10 Indian Sierra, 8400, altimeter 296-6. Copy, Valkyrie 109er. Okay, Bill, we're good to go. Take us on our way, please. Oh, hold that thought. One two eight point one for Valkyrie one zero nine er. Wow, these people are keeping me busy today. Kansas City Center, Valkyrie one zero nine er with you. Valkyrie one zero nine er, Kansas City Center, Roger. Altimeter two nine six six. Okay, now we're good to go, Bell. And thank you so much. Just in time, too. We're about to pass uh, 10,000 feet and take it all the way up to Angels 32. I'm going to click on the autopilot in a minute here and have that do most of the work. That sounds like a plan to me. I notice you're starting to get used to the concept of having an autopilot on board. So that's different from... Uh, oh, here we go again. 121.25. 121.25 for Valkyrie 109er. Yeah, I was saying, it's a vast difference from the L-39, isn't it? Yep, it sure is that. 
I do kind of miss it. Oh well, we'll see it soon enough. Kansas City Center, Valkyrie 109 are with you, flight level 197. Wow, how did we get up here so quick? Oh, what can I say, baby doll? I got those mad, fat fighter pilot skills. <laughs> Let me guess, you also feel the need for speed as well? Funny you should mention that, yes. As a matter of fact, I do. As soon as we get on course here, I'm going to kick this sucker in afterburner. We did fill up the tanks, right? As much as I could. We've got over 15,000 pounds, so that should be plenty for us to go past Kansas City and get to Topeka at the very least. All right, good. Okay, so we're just about at the top of our climb here. I'm going to start messing around with these MFDs because I know there's uh, certain aspects that I haven't been using as of yet. But for now, I'm going to click on our altitude hold and see if I can trim us down just a touch here. And that way, we should be on course and on altitude. How's it feeling back there? Feeling quite good, actually. I've got enough oxygen flowing. Everything is just fine. Good deal. Now, just so you're aware, I'm probably going to use the large portion of our gas for uh, these long stretches where I'm going to kick in the afterburner, but I'll let you know what I'm about to do that. By the way, did you do any research on Kansas, or at least Topeka, so you can uh, give me an idea of what we're in for here? Well, what do you want to know? It's quite an underrated city when it really comes down to it. How so? Do tell. Hang on, I'm also checking our flight plan here on the GPS. Okay, so to start with, you already know the obvious. It's the capital city of Kansas, and it's in Shawnee County. It's situated along the Kansas River, which is, of course, also a part of Shawnee County. I bet you didn't know how it came up with its name, though. Actually, I have no idea. Enlighten me, please. Unsurprisingly, like most places around these parts, the name is, of course, a Native American name. The tribes that lived here were the Kanza and the Osage tribes. In fact, there's even an Osage County nearby to Shawnee. And the name itself is a Kanza Osage sentence that means place where we dug potatoes. Ah, oh, come on, lady. She's just getting to the good part here. <laughs> I'll continue in a minute, Belle. 135.525, Valkyrie 109er. Okay, here we go. Kansas City Center, Valkyrie 109 are with you. Flight level 320. Valkyrie 109er, Kansas City Center, roger. Okay, so where was I? Uh, digging potatoes in Topeka's backyard. Oh, yes, that's right. Yes, yeah, so the name actually means place where we dug potatoes, or sometimes it means a good place to dig potatoes. But regardless, it was first suggested to the citizens of Topeka by a gentleman named Joseph James, who was affectionately known as Joe Jim, and he was actually a mixed-blood Kansas Native American. So he's credited with uh, suggesting the name of Topeka, and the city itself was laid out in 1854 as one of the free state towns founded by the Eastern anti-slavery men. I'm listening to you, hon. I'm just playing around with these MFDs here, trying to see if I can get our course selected and everything. Okay, well I'm just going to pretend that you're paying attention and I'm going to continue. This you might find interesting. Did you know that Topeka is well known for the U.S. Supreme Court case Brown versus the Board of Education of Topeka? Mm, I can honestly say I have no idea what that's all about, so why don't you just fill me in, please? Well, that case was pretty important for the entire country because it actually ended up declaring racial segregation in public schools to be unconstitutional. So Topeka led the way in that department. All right on. Good for you, Topeka. Well, that's cool. I know, right? And apparently Google is really big here. They've been doing like a fiber optics experiment in the Kansas area. In fact, for a month, they actually changed the name of the city of Topeka to Google Kansas. And of course, in support of them, Google changed their name from Google to Topeka. So you weren't Googling something on the web, you were topeka something on the web. Just for a month, though. Well, when you put it in that light, it kind of makes uh, Topeka sound like a fun little city. It's a shame we won't be staying there too long. I know. After everything I've read about Topeka, I'm starting to think maybe we should be crashing there tonight. Level 300, 
Hey, look, it's your girlfriend again. Hard D, har har, Bill. 118.4 for Valkyrie 109er. Okay, Kansas City Center. Kansas City Center, Valkyrie 109er with you, flight level 320. Valkyrie 109. We should be nearing our waypoint, Bill. Yeah, I was just looking at that in the HUD. We're about uh, five or so miles from the next waypoint. As soon as we make this turn and then hit the straightaway, I am going to kick in the afterburner. So, stand by for that in uh, probably about a minute or two. Mmm, I can't wait. That's my absolute favorite part about this aircraft. Okay, my dear, it is time. Let's go ahead and kick in the afterburners. We're going to do an extended burn here until we get to Kansas City. Do it, baby! We are doing it. I'm going to bring us up to about uh, Mach 1.5 thereabouts. We should be hitting the sound barrier any second now. Here we go. We are now supersonic. Love it. And you know, I'm thinking about it, uh, whenever I think of Kansas, three things come to mind. The first, of course, is Dorothy, you know, we're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. The second, of course, Tornadoes, as in Tornado Alley. But then, the third thing that always comes to mind is that uh, song from the band of the same name, Kansas. Uh, what was it called? Carry On, Wayward Son. Love that song. If I had a dollar for every time I've had to play that sucker live. Ugh, love that song so much. Well, I don't blame you. It's a really good song. Hell yeah, it is. Matter of fact, why don't you sing it with me, Allie? Uh, no, no, that's not. Oh, come on, don't be a spoil sport. You don't even have to sing the entire thing with me, just like the first few verses. You know the ones. Come on. Fine, Bill. Count me off. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. Woohoo! That was awesome. All Thank right, you so Bill. much, Allie. There you go. I swear this was not my idea, folks. You know, as we were passing Kansas City, I finally remembered one of the major reasons why I dislike the Midwest. It's too damn flat. Yes, Bill, you made me aware of this the last time we did a cross-country tour. I know, you hate flatland. If it's any consolation, however, the airports that we're going to are about 3,000 plus feet above sea level, so even though the terrain itself is flat, at least they have some altitude to them. Can you forgive them that at least? Well, I guess that's a good thing at least. Uh, the further west we go, the higher the elevations are going to be. Well, there you go. Now, if you can stop bitching for a few seconds, I've got a couple things I need to bring to your attention. First off, our wing tanks are empty. We're down to 11,400 pounds. And second off, we're about 11 miles away from Topeka. Um, how do you plan on us landing there? Wait, what? Well, why didn't you tell me sooner that we were so close to Topeka? Oh my god! Oh, crap. All right, I'm taking off the autopilot here. We're going to see if we can bring this sucker down. I'm just going to strap my oxygen mask on a little tighter now, if you don't mind. Quick, call Topeka Tower and see if you can get us clearance to land. Way ahead of you, my dear. Way ahead of you. And that's the first one on the list, too. Topeka Tower, Valkyrie 109 or five miles east to land. Valkyrie 109 or... Tower, left, traffic, runway 
Altimeter 2985. Runway 18, Bill. We're heading the wrong way for that. Fly left traffic, runway 18, Valkyrie 109er. Are you sure we're going to be able to come down? And why are we going so fast? Uh, yeah, I'm working on that, and I seem to be having a little bit of a problem here. The throttles say they're in idle, but the engine's still giving me full military output. Uh, something's not right here. Alright, hang on to your shorts. Let me see if I can swing us around. Usually that'll slow us down a little bit. If not, I'll have to put out the speed brakes. So, are you telling me Valkyrie's addicted to speed? She won't slow down? Uh, yeah, kind of, sort of, in a nutshell, that's what I'm getting at here. I'm putting the throttles down to zero, but she is not slowing down. I'm going to have to try the speed brakes here. Okay, you do what you need to do. I'm going to accept our clearance. Cleared to land, runway 18, Valkyrie 109er. Do I need to call a mayday, Bill? That's a negative, Alley Cat. I think I've got this... I can't tell if the speed brakes are going out all the way or not, so I'm going to pull them back in and open them out. I'm still getting nothing on them. Wings are still slicked back. I don't know what the hell is happening here. I sincerely hope this uh, quits after a little bit here. Otherwise, it's going to be an interesting ride down. Right, I'm going to pull some G's here. Hang on. A little more advanced warning before you do that would be nice, Bill. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm trying here. Hold on, just a little bit more. I'm going to try and see if I can head us towards Topeka Airport. We're going to have to, like, fly past it and then turn around and try another pass. That's the only thing that I can think of while I can get this uh, engine to slow down here. Crap. Do me a favor, check the fuses back there. See if something's not burnt out. I'll check, but to be honest with you, if I find anything burnt out, what am I supposed to do? I don't have access to the fuses. They're in our cargo compartment. Ah, uh, shit, that's right. I put everything in there. Alright, uh, well, we might have to keep circling for a little while. Luckily, I think we've got enough gas. There's the airport there, so before we end up having to call off our approach, I'm going to swing us out hard left, so hold on. Here we go. Okay, I'm trying to find the switch to activate my G suit here. I'm not a fan of this, Bill. I am not a fan at all. And here, I thought you liked going fast. Fast and straight is one thing. This is something completely different. Well, I got good news for you, though, Ali. It sounds like the engines are starting to throttle down. I'm seeing the RPMs going down, so I'm going to pull in the speed brakes and open them back out to full deflection. There we go. I'm looking over the wing now, and yes, we've got full speed brakes. Whoo! Crisis averted! Okay, remind me to get that checked out when we get down. Well? Yes, yeah, Sally. Don't forget to get that checked out when we get down. Why, thank you, Ali. I'll keep that in mind. Appreciate it. Alright, now that our speed is a bit more manageable, I'm gonna keep us on a downwind track here and then we'll roll around once we get to about 4,000 feet, thereabouts. Then I'll swing us around 180 degrees and we should be on final. Luckily, it doesn't look like there's much traffic coming into this airport, so I'm not too worried about holding up traffic here, so it should be good. Alright, I'm gonna make our turn into final now. Okay, well, they haven't said anything, so I'm just going to assume that our clearance is still good to come in. Yeah, that's pretty much going to be my assumption as well. Alright, we are just below 200 knots, so I'm going to drop the flaps down one notch, and then we'll hit the second notch after I drop the gear. You know, Ali, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking maybe we should spend the night here. I mean, I understand, you know, we only planned on coming here and grabbing gas, but obviously we're going to need to check this plane out before we take off and head to Goodland. Are you okay with that? I am very okay with that, Bill. I'd much rather we be safe than sorry, so yes, we can stay in Topeka. Okay, then we have an accord. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and drop the gear, and we'll also work on getting those flaps down to that second notch. I think we're a little bit off-center here, but that's because there's a pretty stiff crosswind blowing. So I'm going to have to swing us out just a touch to the right. Of course, I really can't see the edge of the runway from here. I know we're above the glide slope, but I really can't see which way this runway is heading. So I'm hoping when we get a little bit closer, that'll put everything in perspective here. 
Well, whoever said Kansas wasn't exciting certainly lied to us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mechanical failures on this aircraft, I could certainly do without that kind of excitement, just between you and I. Alright, I'm gonna have to crap this bird in here, cause, uh, we are, like, getting buffeted all over the place here. We're still above the glide slope and we're coming in a little too fast, but I'm trying to see if I can get us on target here. I've actually dropped our speed to about 140, which is a little bit low, but considering the fact that we're descending quickly, we should be able to compensate for it. I don't have any complaints with anything you do, well as long as you ensure that we land safely in Topeka. Will do, ma'am, will do. We're about to cross the Kansas River right now, and we are on short final. I've got red over white, so we are looking all right. Still not quite lined up properly, but I'm working on that. I need a little bit of throttle here. Okay, we're passing over the threshold now. Oh, crap, I'm off center. Hold on, baby. And we're down. Woo! Man! Speed brakes out and brakes on. Well, that was definitely one of the more exciting landings that I've had. For once, I'm in 100% agreement with you, Bill. So now that we're here, what do we have in the way of hotels close by, anyway? Mmm, give me a second to look it up on my pad, and I will let you know. Of course, we're going to want to contact the tower, anyway. Speak of the devil. 121.9er for Valkyrie 109er. Topeka Ground, Valkyrie 109er, taxi to parking. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Delta, Valkyrie 109er. Uh, Bill, Taxiway Delta is behind us. Whoops, my bad. All right, I'll uh, cut us through here, and we'll get there eventually. So did you find us a hotel yet? You know, Bill, impatience is not a virtue. I'm just saying. And yes, as a matter of fact, there is a Ramada Topeka downtown hotel. It's probably going to be the closest to us. It's a few miles away, like three or four miles. All right, that works for me. We can probably catch a cab from here then. Okay, I think this is our parking spot off to the right, so let me go ahead and pull us in there. And I think first thing I want to do is just go through all these fuses and see if something was wrong there. And if it's not the fuses? Then we're going to be gingerly flying this plane to Renner Goodland and then to Denver, where, if I remember correctly, there's an ex-Navy buddy of mine who knows how to work on these things that can give it a full once-over for us. And... If I also remember correctly, our L-39 is there. Well, I do love this Tomcat, but I'll be honest with you, Bill. I do kind of miss the L-39 Albatross. Yeah, I hear you there, Ali. I miss Saphir, too. All right, I'm going to go ahead and power us down here. And I guess if you can get on a horn and see if you can wrangle us up a taxi cab, that would be awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take care of the hotel and the taxi for us. Um, you want to see if you can arrange us getting some gas for tomorrow, perhaps? Yeah, I can get on that. I see some guys over there by the uh, gas pump. Looks like they're just kind of standing around, so... I'll go talk to them in a few minutes. Alright, let me put the parking brakes on. Okay, well, I've been sweating a lot, and I feel like my hair is starting to get frizzy under this helmet. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to head to the ladies' room. And I will be back. I'll meet you at the terminal in, what, about 10, maybe 15 minutes? Sounds good. And okay, folks, in case you haven't figured, this one is to be continued. Alrighty, ciao.